Today we're gonna be making a cabinet to put this miter saw on wheels. Now I've designed this already in Fusion 360 as part of our Fusion 360 for Hobbyists and Woodworkers course. If you're interested in learning how to design stuff like this, go ahead and check the description. The course is now on sale. You can go ahead and purchase it there. So I've got my plans here with my cut list. These are, I'll just make these free plans. We made them as part of the course. So I'm gonna cut this all up and then we'll move to assembly, which should be a little bit more interesting. Okay, I got my parts cut out. The only spot that was a little tough was uh, the dados. I couldn't find my router bit or my insert for my table saw, so I just did these with multiple passes and the chisel. This, this way. This, this. Got these little tiny trim screws. Hopefully they don't need pre-drilled. Now I'm going to attach my trim and attempt to use only the air that's in my compressor so I don't have to turn it on and wake the baby. Take that as a no. Normally I draw a small pilot hole first and then drill up from the other side to avoid tear out where it can be seen. But I've been using uh, big fender washers on the inside so you won't actually see it. I'll just drill straight through. And I found the easiest way to get these on was to lay it on its front and then just flush the top here and screw it in on the back. And they're working great. Works out good. And nice. Put a couple screws in the top just so I can dial in exactly how uh, high it lifts up. So you can see if I put them all the way in, I have just a little bit of give that it comes back. But if I loosen this one up, and then this one I want to just touch just as I hit there. That's too far. Too far. Perfect there. This one could come out just another fraction. There we go. It's much more solid. Use some fender washers just to shim up the saw so that it is the perfect height. It looks like I need. One more, actually I haven't put the back in. That's probably why. Perfect. Last thing to do is install the planer and it works out perfect. So I just need to put some bolts through in each corner and I think we're gonna be done. Well, I think it turned out awesome. Uh, of course, I don't happen to have any long material here at the house to try out, but it's so easy to 
set up and tear down. And it's pretty significantly smaller with the wings down, obviously. The only thing I can't figure out is where I'm going to put the clamps to hold it up against the wall in the trailer. So, so the table saw one and the band saw have these clamps that go have these clamps that go into the e-track and with the wings down on this let's see if i can do it one-handed ready kick i don't know where those are going to go so i'll figure something out for that let's see if i can get it open with one hand put my knee up spin this under and this of course just opens right up that's what it looks like underneath And the last thing I need to make to match my three cabinets are something for all the power tools. I need those on wheels the same way. I'll save that for another day.